Yo, 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 yo. We are back, man. What's going on? Welcome to another live stream from your boy, Gina Ots. All right, so today we're going to be checking out a couple things. All right, we're going to go into the Black Ops 6 trailer. We're going to check that out. We're going to check out the gameplay. Then we're also going to look at the direct. All right, so we can see what's going on, man. If you just now tuning in, I appreciate you guys, man. Look, hit those three dots if you're on YouTube. Hit those three dots. Give me a thumbs up. All right. Um, if you are tuning in, you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and do that for your boy, man. It helps every little bit. All right. So let's go ahead and jump into this, man. We got the first video pulled up, which is the Black Ops 6 Vault Edition trailer. So we're going to go ahead and get into that. All right. Forced to go rogue, hunted from within. This is Call of Duty Black Ops 6. Let's go! Featuring an all new cinematic campaign, best in class multiplayer, and the epic return of round based zombies. Pre order the Vault Edition today and get access to additional premium content. Unlock the Hunters vs. Hunted Operator Pack, including operator skins for Adler, Park, Brutus, and Klaus. Flex your loadout with the Mastercraft Weapon Collection, featuring five different Mastercraft weapons. Okay. Get the Season 1 Black Cell Bundle. And get the Gobblegum Pack for Zombies. And nice. unlock the Woods Operator Pack and Call That's of Duty what we want to go Warfare for. 3. Call of go Duty for that Warzone right there. and Warzone Mobile. Pre-order now that and get early access to the open beta. Pre-order the Vault Edition now. Call of Duty Black Ops 6. Pre-order uh, now. So for the Woods Operator, I'm not 100% sure, but... Um, from what I'm hearing, they saying you have to either pre-order like they just said, obviously, or have the game pass already. Not exactly sure if that is entirely true. I mean, we could we could go ahead and figure that out. But we're going to move on to the next thing. And this is the gameplay reveal for Black Ops 6. Let's get into it. Good evening. The Soviet Union is no more. Mike Khan, what's going Despite on, man? The potential for instability and chaos. These events clearly serve What's going our on, national baby? interest. Free from the specter of global conflict. <laughs> Today we celebrate the mystery of American renewal. Something's going on. Something big. Use it. What's going on, bro? I figured if I stuck around hell long enough, I'd see the devil. How's he look? I'm a fire starter. This look crazy. Fire starter. The agency is compromised. We're being hunted from the inside. I'm not sure if that was Hitler. But it might be better if you do. Was it? Hey. Yo, Sketchy, Some what's going on, bro? What the hell are we getting into? <laughs> Don't trust anyone. You heard? This is looking crazy. Woo! Are you out of your mind? Things got complicated. The dive on the back, though? Yo, Kayla, what's going on, bro? I pull for you? May God continue to bless. The United States of America. Pre-order the Vault Edition what and get the Hunters vs. Hunted Operator Pack, the Mastercraft Weapon Collection. You already had, you already pre-ordered it, like, huh? Duh, you gotta go, man. I appreciate you coming through, bro. All right, so we're gonna move on to the Black Ops 6 Direct, man. Let's check this out. Let's check this out. Yeah, this Call of Duty, Black Ops 6. Yeah. 
Yes, sir. All right, so this is direct, so they're going to give us more details into what's going on, man. Hello, and welcome to Treyarch in Los Angeles, and thanks for joining us today. We're excited to share what we've been working on for the past few years. For Black Ops 6, we really wanted Dude, to give dang. ourselves the time to craft something truly great. This means we're delivering a new level of polish and innovation across all This is definitely going to be better. This is probably, I, I, years, I hope, I can tell you that this is the best Call of Duty the they've ever made. And I know That's that the what I'm hoping. excited to give you a deep dive into our campaign and global innovations across the entire game. With Black Ops 6, we're taking players to a new Pope but familiar Mo, what's going era, on, man? the early 90s. In true signature Black Ops the fashion, early 90s. our story builds on real history, thrusting players into a conspiracy where a shadowy force has infiltrated the highest levels of the U.S. government, branding anyone who resists as traitors and forcing players to go rogue for the first time to fight the very machine that created them. Mm. The team has been meticulously crafting every aspect of this game to deliver the fun and attitude players expect from the Black Ops franchise. Multiplayer is of course here and brings the Black Ops style and provides a playground for the brand yo, new Yo, yo, scary player, what's going system. on, bro? New way to push beyond User, your limits. Six, seven, eight, nine, what's like going on, bro? Hero. You'll see a sneak peek of that later today. Round-based zombies is absolutely back and better than ever, and you can be sure it's full of surprises. <laughs> With that, let's step into the mind-bending campaign it, experience we've been crafting with our partners at Raven. No turning back now. Campaign. Every Call of Duty player has a favorite campaign mission. When we set out to make Black Ops 6, we were focused on delivering missions so iconic that they stick in your memory long after. We are bringing that action-packed blockbuster feel to every step of the narrative. We are giving you more variety, more dynamic moment-to-moment -moment gameplay, and more options to finish each mission. Mm. We can do this loud or quiet. Oh, that's interesting. <clears throat> the game is packed with unexpected moments of Black Ops mystery. It's a high-octane spy thriller where you're never sure who to trust and what's real. And it's all set against the backdrop of the early 90s. The Soviet Union was nice. crumbling after the fall of the Berlin Wall and the end of the Cold War. The U.S. is the only remaining superpower. The Gulf War was dominating headlines everywhere, and there was a growing mistrust in government reflected everywhere across the music, television, and pop culture hey, of the time. Yo. When we talk about the Black Ops timeline, good, Black bro. Ops 6 comes after the events of the Cold the War, but it's directly so tied to the 1986 way, flashbacks in Black Ops 2, the aftermath of which has left our heroes in dire circumstances. Mm. Some you should see. There go that guy. Black Ops 6 blends the rich and gritty history of previous franchise titles with bold new characters, with veteran Frank Woods as our through line in our story. So hold on. So hold on. Who do we see on this wall? With bold new. I mean, these are all new characters, right? Nobody repeating characters. With veteran Frank Woods. I mean, obviously we got as Woods. As our through line in our story. Which I want to unlock. <clears throat> in this new chapter, we see a different side of Woods yeah. following his traumatic injury at the hands of Raul Menendez. He's been pulled guy, from the field as he adjusts uh, to a new bro. role within the CIA often behind a desk or on the other end of a radio. His protege is Troy Marshall, who's been making a name for himself in the field. I see we got Marshall quite a few is people, a guys, if you haven't already, especially if you're on YouTube, toughness. hit those three Marshall dots, give me a thumbs up, man. another Appreciate new face it. in Black Ops 6, CIA handler Jane Harrow. She's a born leader, fearless and brilliant, and helps manage their relationships within the agency. Mm. Woods' ability to operate in the shadows has always been hugely valuable to the CIA, whether they want to admit it or not. And Marshall has the ability to make tough calls in the field, ones that Harrow trusts him to make. But when an operation goes wrong, Woods and Marshall are suspended and ultimately forced to go rogue. They soon realize they have to trust each other to get to the bottom of what's going on. Without any of their usual resources, they have to build their own team, recruiting two exciting new characters in Felix Newman, a technical genius, and Sabati Dima, a mysterious. Appreciate assassin. that, bro. 
With the end of the Cold War, these former enemies have become new allies. And with the sudden return of notorious operative Russell Adler, who'd gone missing for months, a former ally may have become a new enemy. For the Black Ops single player campaign, we prioritized mission variety I can't wait till we and get unique campaign, experiences. Man, go on. Our goal was to offer players a wide variety of mission types, each crafted from the ground up. Hi, bro, man. I One moment, you you'll be storming through. a palace. The next, you'll be pulling off a heist at a casino. We aim to take players all over the world and immerse them in vastly different experiences. Within these missions, we wanted gameplay to unfold in multiple ways, giving players the freedom to navigate through them as they see fit. Where we have different combat styles, we also have conversation opportunities where you can talk, barter, and manipulate your way into really? different experiences. And we think you'll want So now we could talk to NPCs. And manipulate your way into different experiences. And we think you'll want to replay levels to see them all. Hey, oh. Ooh. Fire. We are excited to offer a variety of different enemy types in the campaign. The goal was to provide different challenges for the player. So whether they choose to go in guns blazing or take a stealthier approach, line them up right, you can take them both down with one shot. Nice and quiet. We've continued to push on what's possible in terms of how our enemy combatants behave. Your enemies will be relentless, constantly seeking to outmaneuver you throughout the levels. Mm caught off escape routes, pushed on player's location, and forced them to think on their feet. We've created certain missions where we give you a high level objective and a variety of ways to approach that objective. One mission in particular takes place in a vast desert in Iraq. You and your team are hunting down missile launchers with the SAS. It's one of the largest campaign maps that we've ever created. Look alive, people. They know we're coming. You'll find that some of our destinations have a startling contrast in look and feel as well. We have a mission that takes place in an opulent casino in Southern Europe. It's unlike any past mission in Call of Duty. And what the player does in this space is totally unexpected. In another one of our missions, we have set in the harsh tundra of Northern Russia. Northern Russia. We are excited to offer an array of brand new equipment, as well as some favorites from the Black Ops universe. RCXD, tranquilizer trap. Oh, nice. Oh. Adrenaline stem, homing knife. Oh. Disruptor. Those are going to be a problem in most players. Did y'all see that? First of all, nah, hold up. That was fire. That was fire. We'll go back. Tranquilizer trap. Adrenaline stem, homing knife. This, the, 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 the knife is going to be crazy. Disruptor. Disruptor. The campaign is grounded within an expanded campaign hub called the Safe House. You might remember we also had that in Black Ops Cold War. But this time, we wanted to think a little bit more broadly about the environment. We chose to have our team's hub located in a more naturalistic setting. Mm. So, it's in an abandoned manor by an ocean cliffside. What's most unique is that it used to be a KGB black site, which was operational during the 50s and 60s. This brings a lot of intrigue to the safe house and will allow players to explore and discover secrets from the past. Nice. The team is also bringing back the evidence board, which is still the centerpiece of the safe house experience, but with brand new upgrades. Players can view the campaign outline, gain deeper insights into missions, and analyze evidence collected throughout missions. Okay. Attacker. Okay, the attacker comes in. I'll go. Three, two, one, go! That was sick. Yeah, that was fire. I was I just about to say that. 
Omni movement. With Black Ops right, 6, this, this, this our goal right is here, to create a more thing. connected experience that keeps players immersed across every single mode. We've pushed ourselves at every corner to innovate and craft the most signature Bruh. Black Ops experience for our players. Movement has been a consistent area of focus and innovation for Call of Duty. And with Black Ops 6, we're redefining movement across the entire game. Oh, movement for the first is time ever, crazy. players can sprint in any direction and move like a true Black Ops action hero with an entirely new global system we Yo. call Omni Movement. This unlocks the ability to move like never before and seamlessly chain combat maneuvers like slide, dive, and our enhanced supine prone in full 360 degrees range of motion. Hey, yo. Bruh, come on now. Y'all cannot say that's not oh, fire. Man. What are we talking about? This unlocks the ability to move like never before and seamlessly chain combat maneuvers like slide, dive, and our enhanced supine prone in full 360 on, degrees bro. range of motion. How long they was working on this From game? From the beginning, we started with, you can't do this thing, why? And then realize people actually move that way. What happens if we get rid of that construct? And then instantly it opened up like, oh, if you can sprint in any direction, then you can dive in any direction, mm. you can slide in any direction, which then led to all the on the ground movement and everything else chaining together. It's really been something that changes how you think and play the game, whether it's campaign, MP, or zombies. We truly believe that once you experience Omni movement, there's no going back. That's wow. We also have what we're calling intelligent movement, which is a set of features that drastically reduces how many buttons or keys you're pressing to perform various movements. Mm. These can be enabled nice. in player options, and they're broken down into three categories. Sprint assist, mantle assist, and crouch assist. And each of these settings will allow for fine tuning. Mm. Intelligent movement really started with this idea that we want all players to focus on what they want to do and not how to do it. We want every player, regardless of skill level or input or experience with Call of Duty, to be able to engage with Omni Movement and live out their own action hero fantasy in Black Ops 6. Ooh! We looked at other genres like racing games where they have these great assist settings that can be turned on and off. Things like traction control or assisted braking. And we really love the idea of taking that thinking and applying it to our own movement options. I don't think this is a one-size-fits-all thing, and I encourage players to play around with combos of these settings to really dial in their preferred setup. Vitality. Hit zones are regions on a character that react when taking damage or dying. In past games, we've only had four regions. For Black Ops 6, we've actually increased that Dang. to nine regions, so now we can determine if that enemy was shot in their left leg or right leg, and then we'll play a bespoke death animation depending on that location that they were hit. So world connectivity is this concept that players' movement and reactions are connected to the world based on their choices. I can guarantee you this is going to eat up so much more of your GPU power. A great example that really I'm shines it like is I a see global it. feature we call corner slicing. Where but as you fire, the corner or go through a doorway, your weapon's going to dynamically rotate in the direction that you're rounding that corner. And since it's dynamic, it'll be a bit more dramatic if you're slowly clearing a room, but won't affect you at all if you're barreling full speed around that same corner. We are constantly looking for opportunities to set the bar with movement and animations in Black Ops 6. Take cover! Our, our team is super thrilled to show you the best looking characters that we've done. Through our process of photogrammetry, gear was acquired, scanned, and incorporated onto each of our operatives. For our faces, a dynamic real-time analysis of spontaneous performances was captured and processed to make every emotional, impactful moment true to actual life. Mm. We made sure to have special attention to the cuticles and make sure that they don't look like they're just freshly cut. There's dirt in between their nails, and the oils on their palms as they're sweaty and running through situations that they're in. 
We're paying attention to every detail. The thing that I'm most excited about is the number of new weapons from the era that we've added, which includes many that are brand new to the franchise. Our heroes are rogue nice. operatives no and they operate man. outside the normal playbook. That means they're procuring gear by any means necessary. And it allowed us to pull a unique mix of weapons. We made sure to deliver dozens of unique attachments for every gun, and this allows the players to create a weapon to match any play style that you can imagine, all while maintaining the feel and tone of the era. Mm. In Black Ops 6, we really strive for striking that balance between real and hyper-real, but we want to ground wow, what's going on, bro? in realism. We find real-world reference so that we can match that motion the weight, the timing, then riff off of that and create that hyper real look that everybody has come to know and love from Call of Duty. Right, right, right. This is looking fire so far, the Black man. Ops 6 I, ho user I hope it lives up to it. It's all about focusing players on what they need when they need it. And our in game HUD is no different. From the mini map to the ammo widget to in game notifications, the Black Ops 6 HUD combines some of our best designs in a clean, streamlined experience. For the first time in Call of Duty, players will be able to change their HUD in dramatic ways to suit their needs. For instance, streamers can choose a layout optimized for their setup, or maybe you want your HUD centered so you don't have to look away. Want to play hardcore anywhere, or finally put the mini-map in the bottom left? Those are options as well. Not only does the HUD give players important status, it connects them to the world and helps them feel rewarded for being awesome. As players track that elusive challenge or target their next level unlock, Black Ops 6 delivers an end-to-end -end experience from the lobby into combat and back, where player progress and achievement are celebrated in a big way. Early on in Black Ops 6's development, we set a goal to make leveling and XP matter more than ever. Looking back through the Call of Duty and Black Ops catalog, there's a lot of love, both internally at Treyarch and that we see in our community, for how we used to handle prestige. Traditional prestige is back in Call of Duty Let's with go. Black Ops 6. We've pulled the best of the best from past Call of Duty prestige systems and are going bigger and more rewarding than ever. Players who reach max player level will have the choice to enter prestige, start fresh with relocked gear, mm. and go through the leveling journey again. Oh, wow. Black Ops 6 will have 10 prestiges, each with a valuable set of rewards to earn and equip to peacock your status. Players who make it through prestige 10 aren't done. Instead, they'll graduate into Prestige Master with mm. a thousand additional levels to climb through and nice. a classified reward to uncover for anyone dedicated enough to make it all the way to the end. The full Prestige system is available on day one in Black Ops 6. That's gonna be big. I like that, man. Like I said, it's looking good. We know how many of our players look forward All to right, multiplayer, we want to and we will now. be providing a deep dive on it later in the year. For now, here's some insight into our development of Black Ops 6 multiplayer. Our vision since day one has been to craft an approachable and engaging step change of that signature Black Ops multiplayer experience. We focused on supporting three core play styles for launch. Enforcers are the slayers who like to kill and stay on the move. Recon is all about intel and counter intel play. And strategists are support players who throw their bodies at objectives for the win or focus on taking out enemy score streaks for the team. Not gonna hold you. Not gonna hold you. This sounds very similar to X Defiant setup. But I digress. All of our weapons, gear, and gadgets in multiplayer have been intentionally designed through that lens of supporting these play styles. And of course, it wouldn't be a Black Ops game if you can't relive those action hero moments in theater mode, which we're happy to announce is returning with Black Ops 6. Now I said we're only getting a taste of MP today, but of course that means you're gonna get some early details on maps. 
We're happy to announce that we will be launching with 16 all new MP maps. We've got 12 core 6v6 and four strike maps, which can be played as 6v6 or 2v2. What do players like? What do we know that they want? So we're back to our classic three lane, three -lane maps. maps. We've got fast, frenetic experiences, and we have that balance with more medium size, like better for hardcore pacing to keep the action flowing, but still have meaningful decisions for the player to make. Right, right. The maps have their own stories, ah. and we have multiplayer taking place. Small after match, the campaign, bro. There after ain't, ain't so no So don't want to get into too many spoilers there, but you'll experience some of All those spawn locations track. through the multiplayer lens. We've covered a lot today, but couldn't leave you without giving you just one more thing. Okay, let's get it. Zombies. Round-based zombies is back and we're picking up the Dark Aether storyline where we left it. Nice. We're excited to announce that there will be two brand new maps available at launch with a curated mix of fan favorite features and new elements to discover. For those new to zombies, it's our unique take on the cooperative horde mode where every map is packed full of powerful weapons and upgrades, deadly enemies, and tons of secrets to uncover. Mm. The legacy of zombies is incredibly important to Treyarch, and we are so proud of what the mode is bringing to players in Black Ops 6. As you've heard today, the innovations and movement systems will also be coming to zombies. Nice. Plus, there are many additional I mean, zombie-specific features, though, right? both new and turning. This is going to be a truly epic return for round-based zombies. Be on the lookout for more intel coming later this year. Steph interviewed AB, Mark. Now we know we only gave you a little taste of multiplayer here today, so make sure to mark your calendars for our worldwide multiplayer reveal event at Call of Duty Next August on 28th. August 28th. Right. Make sure to stay tuned for details and watch your favorite streamers get hands-on Black Ops 6 so you can be prepped and ready to jump into our MP beta and feel omni-movement for yourself. We'll be sharing so much more about Black Ops 6 in the coming months and look forward to seeing your reactions and your feedback from our open beta coming up this fall and into launch. And it's not just about launch because the team is already focused on delivering a ton of content in the live seasons, which we'll be sharing more about. Hey, uh, Am I allowed to talk about Warzone yet? No. This is gonna be a new Warzone. Our goal on Black Ops 6 was and still is to make something that is the best work the we've ever Warzone, done, right? and frankly, the most fun to play. To do that, we deconstructed all of our gameplay, our systems, and content plans, and repeatedly asked how something could be better. In some cases, that led us to huge innovations like Omni Movement, where we're now allowing players to move how real people and operators move. So I almost can take a wild guess here. It's a wild guess, but it sounds like all of this new movement is going to be going to war zone. I, I, I got a feeling that that's what's going to happen. In other cases, it led us back to some of our classic systems like Prestige, then taking that classic system through the ringer and making updates and improvements. Across our weapons, gear, operators, maps, and more, a huge push has been to hit the highest visual and audio fidelity possible. The campaign tells an all new Black Ops story where you're forced to go rogue and are being hunted by the teams that trained you. Mm -hmm. On top of that, the team is really focused on mission and engagement variety. Multiplayer is a key ingredient in the DNA of Black Ops, and hopefully, in this sneak peek, it was clear that every single part of the MP game loop will be improved and better than ever, from movement to shooting right. to footsteps to engagement systems to death. Nice. And last but definitely not least, the triumphant return of nice. round-based zombies. Nice. There is so much more to share across all three game modes before the game officially launches on October 25th. October 25th. On behalf of the entire team, we can't wait for you to play Call of Duty Black Ops 6. Let's get it, man. Let's get it. Look, I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited.
lot of lot of new things coming in this Black Ops Six. I mean, I'm most excited about the movement, the Omni movement. I think that's going to be super fire. User, what's going on, bro? Um, I think that's going to be super fire, man. Um, multiplayer maps, you know, all of that. Um, I'm super excited to see as well, as well as the zombies, man. We are definitely going to be doing zombies. We are definitely going to be doing zombies. I got into the MW3 zombies. Um, I was heavy into it when it first came out, but then that kind of fell off. So we'll see if, you know, the zombies and Black Ops 6 can, can, can hold us there, can hold our attention. You know what I'm saying? So, look, I'm excited about it, man. And I hope you guys are too. That is going to call it for this episode um, of, of looking at Black Ops 6, man. I pre appreciate you guys. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit those three dots up there. If you're on YouTube, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel, man. I greatly appreciate you guys. Ox out. Deuces. Peace. Team the Ox. Team the Ox.